through this next week project yes, sir. and the solo layout here. You know, given the history that we've had with regard to this particularly all you know, various projects that were scheduled to go out there, it seems to me that with the development of these sites for purposes of solar energy, this would be a, a good opportunity for us to put a positive light on the authority and its efforts mm -hmm. in the area of not only developing that particular property, but also that we're developing it with solar um, power. You know, I, I recognize that about three years ago when we developed the first acre out there with the solar panels, that was a big deal in this community. And as as I'm thinking mathematically, I may not have this correct, but haven't we increased the solar arrays out there by at least four times? Yes, sir, we have. If you look at the first array that, that you see presented there, that represents, it's on two acres, and it represents about uh, 0.25 megawatts. Mm -hmm. And if you look at what we have here, that's 1.25 megawatts right. about two acres. So it's a significant increase. There seems like... Go ahead. No, I know. Good. We're going the same way. Go ahead. No, I'll defer to you, Madam Chair. Sure. Should we be doing something to celebrate that? Should we be doing a ribbon cutting or some sort of publicity event to make sure everyone's aware that we've done this? We are, in fact, working with Anna Solar now. Mm -hmm. They have a number of these projects that they're deploying, and we are working on a ceremony, a commissioning ceremony, similar to what we did for the first one of those. And, and I can't I can't give you a date for that yet, but that is something that we are contemplating. And the other thing I would say, Mr. Copeland, is this represents a significant revenue stream for the city of Valdosta. That's right, all put together by the authority for their express benefit. That's exactly right, because if you look at the revenue stream that this project will generate over 20 years, it's well in excess of $350,000 and could, in fact, if the two renewals move to $675,000. So it's significant. We have been generous enough to allow the revenue to flow through the authority to the city. Is that my That's understanding? That's exactly right. It's a direct pass-through. Without any surcharge whatsoever? No, sir. No surcharge. Despite our significant efforts. I just want to make sure that Mr. Payton heard that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Payton. I know that's why you came today. Boy, would you start over from the top? <laughs> okay, thank you, Alan.